Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to generate your documentation from your doc strings inside your code using Sphinx. So basically in this video we will learn how to transform these doc strings inside the functions inside your Python modules and transform into HTML files or generate HTML files that look like this and you can see uh, all the documentation all the code if you try to to go to the source and go back to the documentation and you can also type and look for something in here like func and it will look for all the, um, the functions in this case because every function I wrote as func and then a number and the file uh, as prefix so you can open that uh, later and understand how the code works and with no further ado let's go and let's see how to build this documentation how to generate this documentation To start generating documentation using Sphinx, first, of course, you need to have Python files, Python modules, Python packages with doc strings. So, as an example here, I have the structure of um, a common project in Python. We have the main file here. You can see a description for the module itself then the main function being defined with uh, a doc string inside and then i have this package module one it has the init file an empty one just to indicate that it is a package and this is important because if you don't have the init file to specify this folder is a python package the sphinx will not generate documentation unless you manually generate the rest files so be aware of that basically i have a file one with the same structure as the main but with some more sample functions we have here the, the, the main description for the module then some example functions with some parameters and doc strings and we will generate the documentation based on these doc strings all the files here have the same uh, functions the thing that changes is the prefix that is file 2 in file 1 is file 1 in module 2 we have file 3 in file 4 we have file 4 and then inside utils we have utils 1 and then the function name and utils 2 so this is just an example where we have a project with several packages inside the source folder if you are not with a project that has the source folder and then all your source code you can generate the documentation inside other folder as well with other name you just need to follow the steps i'm going to open the 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 powershell the command line basically i'm inside the source folder here and i'm going to create a new folder called docs so we generate all the documentation inside inside this folder now i'm going to uh, the docs folder is empty and what we want we want to firstly make sure that you install sphinx to do that you will need to uh, put pip install and then sphinx for me it will say that the requirement is already satisfied of course we are going to use also a sphinx theme that is the um, sphinx rdt theme you need to install it as well you can see more themes in the Sphinx themes gallery. You will have a lot and lots of them. We will use this one, the read the docs RTD. You can use other one. It's up to you. You have a lot of choices here. Okay, so let's recap. We created the docs folder and now we are inside the docs. We just need to execute a command that is Sphinx quick start. It will prompt some, some questions and the first one you go with default just click enter or return and then you put the project name let's say alert programming with joel documentation uh should put the, okay uh learn programming with joel uh, version 1.2 1.0.0 
the language is by default English so you press enter and now if you go to your explorer you can see that inside the docs folder uh, we have some folders and files and this file is where we will change configuration later and also the index we will update that with the the modules we will want to show okay so now we have the base for everything what we need we just need to get out of the docs folder go back to the main folder of your project in my case is source and what we want we want to run another command that is the sphinx dash api doc dash hold output and then docs and there is the name of the folder where i want the output and the dot that states that I want all the documentation from my current directory. If I am outside of source, I can put their source, but I am inside, so I put dot. And uh, I want to show you one thing before there is, if I do not have the init files in my modules, Okay, so I deleted all the, um, the init files and I'm going to run the Sphinx API command. And you can see that I'm having the main Rust and modules Rust files inside the docs folder. So if I go there, I have the main and the modules saying that I have only main. So basically Sphinx does not recognize or did not recognize that we have some Python packages inside the project. And to fix that, we need to have the init file. So let me revert and restart all the files. So Sphinx can understand that the, the given folder is a Python package that we need to see. So now I'm going to delete the main and the modules files that were generated. And I'm going to run the same command again and we will see a lot of more outputs saying module one, module two, utils, and then the same main and the same modules. But if you go to the, um, to the modules, you can see that it's pointing to main mo module one, module two and utils all the other packages so right now we have the the base so we need inside our index to add here that we want to see the module so it will point to the modules uh, rust file that will have the main and the other ones you can also update the name here is up to you i will leave it as is and then we have the config file if you look to it you can see that all of that information is what you input in the um, in those in that command here in the sphinx quick start if you remember that you have the the project name that is learn programming with joel documentation the author and the release we put there okay so we are going to change this theme to the one we want that is the sphinx rtd theme the one we installed before we want also to change the extensions and we are going to use this one you can see uh, more about let me close this we can see more about that inside this uh, this link so basically we want to use the how to doc the view code and the to the one also we need to put something here and this is the tricky part because basically we need to say okay use the absolute path as the directory before this one the docs one otherwise it will not work and that is the tricky part so let's recap we created the docs folder then we went into the docs folder and we just run the sphinx quick start command we fill all the, the prompts then we went back and inside the source folder we run the sphinx api doc dash o docs and then the current directory here as a dot it generated all the the, the rest files then we updated the index rest file to include the modules file 
the rest file that was generated that will include all the other ones by linking to them and inside the configuration the conf.py file we set the, the absolute path to the previous directory then we also updated the extensions to use and also updated the uh, theme we want. Previously, we installed this theme and Sphinx, of course. Now, what we need, we need to go back to the docs folder. And here we have this make batch file. And we want to run that and use the HTML argument because we want to generate HTML. So you press enter or return and it will do something document okay so apparently i didn't save that so let me run again uh, i'm sorry for that uh, you probably saw that i forgot to save the change to include the modules so now we after uh, saving that it will generate everything and it will generate that inside the build and then the html folder that is, everything is inside the docs folder, of course. Let me open the um, index.html file. Let's open it from here, from the uh, explorer, so it can load the, the, the browser. So, where is it? Here we have the documentation. If you remember, this is the contents, is the, the look and feel we have inside the index um, Rust file that is pointing to the modules and then here we have the source and the, the, the tree that is exactly what we have here and then you can go and see okay uh, I want the main module so you have the description of the main module and uh, the, um, the function here you can also open and see the source code Let's go to the base and we want to see, let's say, the utils package and you have everything there. We have two sub models so you can go and expand here and see only for the first one or only for the second one. And you can also see how the, the, the code is, is everything there. So this is how you can generate a beautiful documentation from your doc strings and thank you for watching this tutorial see you next time